Yes, it's time for another top five in five minutes from the average golfer, and this time it's mid size irons. Right, we've got five minutes on the clock. I'll start that very shortly, but once again, I just want to remind people that all the products that are in this top five I have personally tested. I am also taking into consideration of the average golfer when team average have tested and their opinions as well. I've been put into this mix. It's very subjective, but it's my top five. Let's get started. Five minutes on the clock. The countdown has begun. Right, uh, in fifth place, it's a TaylorMade product and uh, it's the TaylorMade M6. Now, for me, uh, M6 is a great all-round iron. It does very little wrong. It's got great forgiveness. I thought aesthetically it looked good. It's on the slightly heavier side in terms of bulk, uh, but sits that in a dress. It's a big profile, give a lot of confidence. Downsides, well, when you look at the top four, there's other bits in terms of sound and feel that it sort of slightly lacks on. But for me, overall, a real good product in there at number five. And at number four, and it might surprise a few people this, it surprised me slightly when I start to put the list together, it's another tailor-made product, and it's the P790. And I'm a massive fan of the P790, the 2019 version. I thought the changes they made were fantastic. I thought aesthetically, they were tweaks, but they looked better. The profile became more compact, it was less offset at address. It ticked a lot of boxes, and again, out there in terms of performance, what it did in terms of dry ball data and out there on the golf course, it was a real solid all-round performer and very hard to fault. Um, negatives for me were the sound and the feel. And again, although they were improved, it says it's a forged face, but this is a long way from what we'd expect from a traditionally forged club. So for me, again, it was sound and feel that it slightly let itself down on. So into the top three, and at number three, it is an iron that I play in a bag. It is the PXG 0211s. Why is it number three, you might ask? Well, I'll get there shortly. Uh, for me, the PXG 211 was a fantastic iron, is a fantastic iron. And what they managed to do with it was uh, build a very, very good all-round product again. I'd still class it as a game improvement iron. Plenty of mass, plenty of uh, heel to toe in terms of length. Um, Thickish top line without being, with confidence inspiring without being um, overly bulky. And it performed well again, all in terms of dry ball days. Obviously, I've played it through the season. It's been a fantastic club. What they did, the one big bonus they did exceptionally well was sound and feel. And I've said this, it's a cast club, but it does something incredibly well in terms of the way it feel and sound. The negative is, well, the negative is the price, and it's always going to be the price, I would think, with PXG products. And that's why performance versus price, then it's got to take that number three slot. Anyway, on to number two. How long have we got? We're doing okay in terms of time. The top three were really hard to split, I've got to admit. And in at number two is the Mizuno MP20 HMB. Now, if anybody's seen me review this product, it's pro probably the most animated I've been in terms of, visually animated that is, when I hit the product for the first time and experienced uh, the performance of it. It was an exceptionally good performer. It did really, really well in terms of dry ball data. Uh, it looks superb, and the sound and feel for me are again superb. But why is it number two? Well, the negatives for me were it was a little bit bulky. Top line was a little bit too much when you compare it to certain clubs that are in this in this list. And the, I, again, I said this during the review. Down the bottom end of the bag, the sort of three iron became a very much more compact and smaller profile, and did the opposite to what I see in other sets, where the actual three and four iron become that little bit more bulky and more confidence inspiring. So for me, um, yeah, perhaps a little bit um, confused with what had happened there in terms of the full set of irons in terms of MP20 HMBs, and that's the only reason I'd knock it. Other than that absolutely fantastic set of golf clubs. So what is number one? Well, number one, it comes from Callaway and uh, I tested these, it was literally early part of the year and for me, it was game changing in terms of irons. They brought an iron out which I feel uh, set the bar early this year and everybody else followed suit in terms of what they produced but they started, it was the first time we'd seen 
the first set of irons that to me started to tick a lot of boxes where it became smaller, compact, it was forged, it felt good, it looked good, it performed exceptionally well, it had plenty of forgiveness. So they're packing everything you would want from an iron, but not making it in a huge bulky effort, which they slimmed down really, really well. And like I said, it performed so, so well. I think it looks superb. Criticisms, I don't think there are any to be quite honest with you. It was, again, probably on the pricier end in terms of uh, a full set of irons. That would be the overall criticism. But other than that, I've got to say it was a real good product. But what I will say is this, I say it's a subjective review. I would really game any of them top five. The important thing is, and what I want from you, is comments down below. What product do you class as the number one iron for 2019. That's the all important bit. But like I said, oh, time has gone. Five minutes is up. Time to shut up. Video is over. We almost got there, but I think we got the top five in at least. Anyway, I think that's me done. What a great year for irons, in my opinion. Real move forward in uh, that top five. Absolute superb choice. And the, the changes that were made were, I think, a good move forward for a lot of us average golfers. Anyway, as ever, your opinion is the one that counts. Comments down below. I'll see you soon. Probably run into about five minutes 30.